All right, so today I am gonna make a simple herbal syrup. This is basically kind of a mixture of an infusion along with a sweetener. So you can use sugar as your sweetener, honey, um, but for today I'm using maple syrup. And the herbal syrup, it's gonna come out thinner than like your actual maple syrup or your, or your table syrup because it's, it's part water. So essentially what we're gonna do is we're going to pick out some herbs we're going to decoct them in two cups of water. So we're really infusing the water with all of the medicinal properties and flavors of the herbs. And that decoction process is gonna cook down the water. So we're starting with two cups of water. We'll probably end when it's about one cup of water. And then we'll match that with about a half or one cup of the actual syrup. And this is an amazing herbal remedy, uh, particularly for kids or for people who aren't used to taking tinctures or herbs in other ways because of the natural sweetness from the maple syrup or honey or whatever you use. It's like a tasty way to get, you know, all of the herbal benefits in there. And for my like herbal syrup today, again, two cups of water in our pan. And I am doing a blend of marshmallow roots. And I'm gonna use a quarter cup of each. Hopefully I've got enough of each of these. So we'll start with a quarter cup of marshmallow roots. So marshmallow root is a demulcent herb. It's one of the most widely known demulcent herbs. So it's good for moistening also good for the digestive tract so really when I'm making this syrup um, I am doing it with a focus on a nice digestive support syrup so we've got a quarter cup of marshmallow roots and you don't have to be specific with this like you would with baking and level everything off you know just a general quarter cup also doing a quarter cup of plantain and the plantain also is demulcent and is also good for the gut and for the digestion very much digestive support digestive soothing uh, very very healing healing to the digestive tract with plantains properties so we're gonna get again roughly a quarter cup just pour that in there it might be a little bit over, a little bit less, kind of feel it out. So that's about my quarter cup. Mix that right in there. And lastly, I'm using hibiscus. Previously, when I did this mixture, I used rose hips. Rose hips are very nice to do in a syrup as well for the flavor and also for the pectin, which helps the syrup become even thicker. I didn't have any rose hips right now, so I'm adding hibiscus primarily for an additional flavor profile, but hibiscus is also an astringent herb, so I do think it's gonna really mix nicely on that medicinal factor as well. And hibiscus does have a very strong flavor, so unless you're a really big fan of it, you know, you might wanna go, like I'm going a little bit under the full quarter cup. So just a bit there. And I'm gonna grab a spoon just to help mix these herbs up into the pan. And I'll just give them a stir. And again, I love that when you're stirring an herbal remedy on the pan, this is a great time to stir in your magical intention for the remedy or your healing intention for the remedy to really kind of consider why am I making this? When am I going to use this? Um, for this syrup, I like to take about a teaspoon. And when I say teaspoon, I'm talking about an actual spoon, small, medium, big that you have in your drawer, you know, a regular size spoon, um, about a spoonful of it a day. You know, it's really great to take after meals. Um, really great to you if you're somebody who might struggle with snacking or sugar craving just a little bit of syrup it gives you that sweetness but you also know that you're getting good medicine in at the same time 
And what we want to do with the de decoction is we're going to get this water up to boiling, but we're not going to just boil it down right away. Uh, I think that's a little bit harsh for what we've got here. Instead, we're going to keep it at simmer. So we're going to bring it up to boil and then we're going to reduce it to simmering. So simmering for me is about on a low, uh, low to medium low heat on our stove top. And again, just take your time to stir in the positive energy, stir in some of the healing intention. Some people think it's very woo and you know, I don't blame them for thinking it's too woo, but honestly, I notice a difference. There is a difference when you're cooking or creating anything, the energy that you have when you're creating something does translate into your final product. It does make things taste better when they're cooked with love. So think about that when you're stirring up your herbs. And we're almost at boiling. So about here, I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna turn this probably down to a simmer here in about a minute. And then I'm gonna let it simmer, I wanna say for at least 25 minutes. Again, until I'm about seeing this reduced to half its volume. And then I will show you the straining process and the process to mix in the maple syrup. All right, so while the decoction was simmering away uh, for a little bit over 25 minutes, you know, about 25 to 30 minutes, I took some time to make a infusion, clean the kitchen, and you can tell a lot has dissolved, you know, quite a bit. We're definitely down to half, maybe even less. And I'm just going to pour this into a strainer. And really, sometimes with herbs, you want to press them down when you're straining them to really make sure that they release all of their liquid. So when I get all of that herbal goodness, I gotta say it is just such a deep, brilliant maroon color, thanks to the viscous. It's absolutely beautiful. And let's see, it looks like we've got less than a cup, so I might have centered mine a bit too long. 25 minutes is actually perfect. Still going. Just want to make sure I get every last little drop. I believe that's it. So our final product, remember we put in two cups of water and right now we're just a little bit over three-fourths cup now that it's all melted down. So I want to get to a little bit under the one and three-fourths mark of maple syrup. And I'm just going to pour this right in. So perfectly matching amount of maple syrup into the herbal decoction. And I'm gonna give it a stir and there you go. You have an herbal syrup. It really is that simple. And again, if you're thinking about more ways to use it rather than just taking it by the spoonful, really treat it like syrup. It's gonna be a little bit thinner because we watered it down. A bit, um, but it's still great on your waffles, on your pancakes, on your desserts, on your fruit. Anytime that you would add syrup, you can use this and know that you're also getting an herbal, medicinal, and magical benefit extra to your food. So be creative with it. And I'd love to hear in the comments if you have any new or creative uses for herbal syrup. And again, you don't have to follow this exact recipe. You know, I use the marshmallow, the hibiscus, and the plantain, but you could use 
any one of those herbs or any combination of a different herb and really experiment, have fun with it. What kind of flavors, what kind of medicinal properties do you want your maple syrup to have? Or do you want your honey to have? Or do you want your family to experience more in their lives? Really just have fun with that. And what I'm gonna do now is pour this into another syrup container that I've actually reused and recycled, collected tons, if I can pull one out. are perfect for them. This is actually still labeled from the last time I made this digestive syrup. So there you go. Just pour it in here and boom, you've got your own special syrup. And I hope you enjoy.